In this video, we are going to understand and learn how to send and schedule a message for a particular broadcast channel. In order to schedule a message, we are going to first of all, go to our left hand side panel broadcast list and select the broadcast list or channel in which we would want to schedule the message. We are going to click on send template message. We are going to filter out our approved templates and we are going to select one of the templates that we want to send. Now, for example, we would pick up a template which has got a variable so that I can show you how to map the variables. Now, once you select the template, you can have a quick overview or a preview of the entire template along with the different buttons that are there in the template. Here we had used the variable name. So instead of name, if you are typing a particular, let's say salutation as Mr. or Mrs. This is a static mapping. And that means all the individual messages that will go out as a broadcast to your customers in the broadcast list, Mr. and Mrs. would get automatically appended. So typically this is used for sending, let's say a 15% coupon code in a broadcast, wherein everyone in the broadcast list gets the 15% coupon code. But for hyper personalization, of messages, it is recommended that we use the variable that we have uploaded in a different video. So in order to use a variable, we are going to click on this button and select the variable we want to insert and replace in our message. So we have selected name and we can see that out of our broadcast list members, the entire 100% members have this field value set. And here are some sample values as well. That means if the message is supposed to go to Rhythm, the number which is mapped along with this name would automatically be picked and Rhythm while viewing the message will see his or her own name in the message over here. Now let's say you want to add some static data, for example, exclamation, right? That can also be added along with some emoticons if you may please. So here we are adding some more emoticons. And now we are going to hit on next and we get an option to either send now, which will immediately send this message. Or if we want the message to go on a scheduled date and time, we can select that particular date and time. For example, I will schedule this message for today at 9.35 PM. So today at 9.35 PM, this message would directly be auto triggered along with all the variables. Now here we have come automatically to the scheduled broadcast section, which contains all your scheduled broadcast for your future dates, as well as the record of all your past broadcasts that you have done so far. Please note at the given moment, you can schedule up to 10 broadcast in a future date. Once the scheduled date and time is reached, the broadcast would automatically be triggered to our customer group, as you can see over here, along with different statistics on how many people it was sent to, delivered to and read by how many people. So here we would be able to see in our WhatsApp channel that the static data that we had introduced as well as the dynamic variable that we have mapped in our broadcast has automatically been added while sending the broadcast. I hope this will give you deeper insights in creating your broadcast channels as well as your data in such a fashion that your customers receive personalized messages and you are able to quickly get return on your investments via your broadcasts. Thanks a lot for watching this video.